Hi, I'm Rob Hewson from Saab, and I'm talking to Saab's Eric Vinberg about airborne early warning. Eric, I think we can agree that there are a lot of countries out there now who realize that they don't know enough about what's going on in the airspace, either their own airspace or the airspace around them. And Saab has a solution for that. Yeah, we do have a solution for that. We have this area airborne early warning control systems, or as to call it in England, an AWAC system. We have a very huge capability, a very long range radar, which also can see targets at very low altitudes, which you cannot do from the ground. And actually, you can see behind this, uh, it's, a mo it's a model of it here. Yes. Now, there are other companies who make similar aircraft. Who, who would say similar things? What makes ERI different? Why should a customer consider ERI for their Air Force? There are several reasons for that. One is that, first, it has a very low uh, uh, organizational footprint, as we call it. It's a quite cost-effective solution because we're using a very uh, cost-effective uh, aircraft and also a radar system that is uh, um, suitable for that kind of aircraft. Uh, that's one thing. Second is that this system has constantly uh, evolved over the years, so now it includes several multi-roles multi you can do, multi-missions. Talking about air surveillance, talking about sea surveillance, now we're adding ground surveillance, we also have electronic warfare capability on it. And that, I think, differs us from the competitors. So, some people might think still that ERIE is just an air-to-air -air platform, but it's not, is it? No, it isn't. It actually has been involved over the years quite a lot. So today we have sea surveillance, we have ground surveillance, we have electronic warfare capabilities today. So it's not an air-to-air -air, uh, platform anymore. It's much more multi-role. And, and within those over-land, over-water roles, what's it capable of? Uh, the, in the sea surveillance role, it's very capable, and we are now able to detect small objects such as jet skis and reboats and uh, to more than 100 nautical miles, which is quite uh, far away. Uh, in the ground surveillance, we have very long-range GMTI capability that we can offer today.